I want to do a little follow-up on the fugitive who was on the run in Virginia. Um, he was captured yesterday, uh, which would have been September the 14th, 2023. He was captured in Tennessee, in Union County, I believe. So I just wanted to let people know about that. If you watched the last video that I posted, I did a little story on him. He was wanted from, um, I think, Claiborne County, Tennessee, for murder. Um, it didn't go into any details about who he had murdered, but he was on the run. They had chased him from Tennessee across the Virginia border into Lee County, and sometime he was able to lose them and apparently fled on foot and hid out, and I don't know how he was able to get back into Tennessee if he sold another car or if he if he stole a car or if he was able to get a ride with someone or if he walked. I don't know the details. But I just wanted to let people know that he has been captured. And I wanted to say something to some people who commented on my videos concerning the murder trial of or the murder of Amber Spradlin. There's not a trial yet because no one has been charged with anything yet. When I make my videos, and, and I expect that there will be critical comments. I've, I've had, you know, criticizing type comments before, and I'm not saying that these comments were criti critical or criticizing, but sometimes people may have a difference of opinion. I have only mentioned the names of the people that were in the home that night that have been publicly named. We all know for a 100% fact that the home of uh, Mike McKinney, Dr. Mike McKinney, someone asked this question this morning on uh, one of my videos, why are people calling him doctor? He was a dentist. Well... In uh, the United States, let me go back and find the comment, and I'll read it to everybody. It said, why are people calling him a doctor? He was a dentist. Also, before this even took place, the services in Floyd County, the emergency services, were awful. I personally had to call a few times and never got an officer. And I replied with um, a link that I found from um, the Cleveland Clinic. It says, are, doc are dentists doctors? Yes. Dentists are doctors because they undergo extensive medical training. In the United States, a person who wants to become a dentist must receive an undergraduate degree and complete four years of focused training in an accredited dental school. So they are called doctors. I just had to, to um, hide my first user on this YouTube channel. I welcome comments and I even welcome people with a difference of opinion, but I do not welcome bullying language. And this person came back and said that I was being snarky with them. Don't get snarky with me. Um, I wasn't being snarky. I was just sending them a link or posted the link in the comments letting them know that, yes, dentists are considered doctors. And how that was being snarky, I don't know. But like I said, anyone wants a difference of opinion, that's fine. You could come on there and you can say, I disagree with you. This is the way I see things. But you don't have to use bullying type language or almost threatening type language. You know, that's almost like saying don't get snarky with me or, you know. So I just want people to know that I am not here to, like, um, get into great arguments with anyone. I, I welcome anyone's difference of opinion, like I said, but this channel's not going to turn into a free for all of arguments and some people may say it as see it as me restricting and and I have that right to do that because it's my channel and if someone posts something that I find to be a bullying type comment or a comment that would try to provoke an argument 
and not a debate. There's a difference between debating and saying this is the way I see things. And I'm sorry that um, I don't see things your way or whatever. But not to say something like using the kind of language that is almost like an insult. And if I see others do that towards other commenters in the comment sections, those comments will also be removed. Um, I don't want to lose followers or subscribers, but I also don't want there to be, to pe for people to see this channel as a place to come to, to air their, their um, hate speech. It's just like someone else had commented that the Justice for Amber Facebook page is full of hate, and I just pointed out that these people have a right to feel that way. This was a young woman, a 38-year-old young woman um, in the community who was well-liked and well-known and um, got along with everyone from what I understand. And someone brutally murdered her, and they have a right to be upset about it. And if they choose to allow those types of comments on the Justice for Amber page, that's up to them. I don't have any association with that page other than I am following it just like others are. But this is my YouTube channel. I post videos about the missing, about murdered people, about unsolved cases, and subjects along those lines. I'm not here to debate any kind of, you know, argumentative type uh, content. And I'm sorry if, they, if these people thought they had found someone to um, take their anger out on, but it's not going to be me. It's not going to be my YouTube channel. I just wanted to clear that up. I've had, you know, I've seen that posted before. If you go to a dentist's office and you walk up to the door, there's usually a sign on the door and it will say doctor, doctor whoever, because we do consider dentists doctors. Some are oral surgeons. They perform surgery. Some are um, put braces on your teeth and some work on the gums. Um, you know, there's different types of dentists and they are doctors. You know, they they doctor our teeth and our gums, you know. So I just want to clear that up. And I also just want to say there's always going to be support for both sides. I can understand the community, the people that are his uh, patients. I can understand the people that are his family, people that have done business with him, people that are members of the community that are friends of his coming to his rally. I, and I'm not saying that the, the man that owned the home is the murderer. I don't know who the murderer was yet because the state police have not filed charges against anybody yet. Um, there's been a lot of talk and speculation and some will call that rumor. There it, might, it might be rumor. But... Whatever the outcome is, here's my stand, stance on this. Someone made a comment on my post from the last video that said, um, the Justice for Amber page is filled with lies or gossip and um, hate. And, you know, were was implying that the people that comment on there are all filled with hate. Well, there probably are people like that. They hate the fact that it's been three months and no one's been arrested for this crime. They hate the fact that no one came out that night for, for the 911 call, the first 911 call. They hate that no one was dispatched to go out there. They hate the fact that if someone had, if a police officer had, they probably would have called, um, you know, if, if Amber was dead at that point, and I don't know if she was or not, but if they had gone out there after the very first 911 call, they may have called for other police officers to come to the scene. 
They may have taken statements from everyone who was still in the home at that time. They may have been able to assess the situation and figure out who they thought maybe was doing something wrong. And if Amber was still alive at that point, if she had already been attacked, then maybe they would have been able to get her some medical treatment. And if she hadn't been attacked at that point, then they maybe would have told everyone to leave and go home, go to your own homes, or call someone to give you a ride or whatever and get on out of here, you know. But if someone had responded to the 911 call, if people in the home, and this woman said, we're trying to destroy the lives of two innocent people who were there but had nothing to do with this. Well, why did they not call 911? Was this attack so quiet that no one in the home heard it? Was Amber asleep and someone came in and just started attacking her and not give her a chance to scream or to try to fight? Maybe that was why she was stabbed in her throat to try to silence her screams or cries. I don't know, but were the other people that are in the home passed out or asleep and didn't hear anything, so therefore they had no idea of what was going on? Did they get up that morning and leave and not going into the room where she was to see this bloody scene? So I'm not saying that anybody there who other than the person that had that knife in their hand and stabbed this woman to death. I'm not saying that any of the other people that was in that home that night are guilty of her death, but if they knew when the first 911 call was made that something was wrong and that the police should have come and they didn't speak out against and they didn't try to get help then maybe they can be considered somewhat guilty of keeping quiet. Um, you know, I don't know what charges might be brought against them. There may be no charges brought against them. They may be able to make an arrest and get a confession. I doubt, I doubt personally that they'll get a confession. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. But the uh, but if there were six people in the house that night, including Amber, that left five others, the murderer, that left four. If those four other people are innocent and had nothing to do with her death, her stabbing, maybe they have spoken to the police. Maybe they were talking to the police right now. Maybe... We don't know what's going on behind these closed doors of these interrogations or, or conversations. And people will say, well, if you get a lawyer, you're guilty. Now, that's not true either. If I were in a home and this had taken place and I were there and I thought there was a possibility that I might be blamed or accused, I would get a lawyer. Everybody has a right to an attorney. That's one of our rights. So I just want to clear some things up about this. I'm not accusing any one particular person. I'm not saying this guy did it or that guy did it. I don't even know who the other person was that was there. The only ones I know of are the ones that have been named. And one of those people killed this woman. She didn't take this knife and stab herself 11 times through her head, through her throat. Someone murdered this woman, and it's time for that person to be held accountable. Whatever other charges may come against the other people that were there or against other people who maybe showed up later to try to help out, to try to clean up or try to help somebody come up with a story or whatever. I'm not saying that they did. I'm saying if they did, they may have charges brought against them later on. 
There may be charges like the case I was talking about yesterday of Kyle Deskins, who murdered his wife two years ago. Uh, he, it was found that he had concealed evidence and, and tampered with evidence. There may have been tampering or concealed evidence in this case, too. And if there was, maybe the police are able to figure all this stuff out. I don't want to see anyone who's innocent go to prison for a crime that they didn't commit. And if you think that that doesn't happen, just look it up. There's plenty of people who have been found innocent later, years later, some 30 years after being put in prison for something that they didn't do. I hope that the guilty person, whoever that may be, is held accountable and does go to prison, what they deserve, you know? So I just wanted to clear that up and add that to this video before I move on to the next story. Um, I appreciate everyone who watches my videos and responds and, and comments. Like I said, there will be people who disagree. There will be people who uh, question. I appreciate any input that clears up something that my, I may say that is misinformation. And, and there have been times when I, have, when I first made this very first video about Amber, I referred to the man in whose home this was as Mark McKinney, and it was actually Michael McKinney. So I came back and cleared that up. I didn't want to, you know, say the wrong name. So I just wanted to um, touch on that. 